I use these bags so much. I loved these bags. This is my top four favorite most used bags of 2019 plus two extra that are my that I didn't use as much but they were my favorite purchases of 2019. Number one is the Alma BB in black epi leather. This bag you guys, this bag. This is literally one of my favoriteest, most favorite bags I have purchased in several years. This is like a hero bag. It really is just a hero bag. It is so simplistic, goes with everything. Like literally, I took this bag to Egypt with me over Thanksgiving and it was the perfect day bag because of the strap. And then you just take this little strap off and it just becomes a perfect handheld bag. It is so classy. This bag was designed for Coco Chanel, so I love the history behind the bag. I just love the simplicity of it and really the design, and I love that it can just easily go from day to night. The silver hardware makes this bag so casual and just easy to just bop around with during the day. <laughs> I was just very surprised with this bag, how much I really, really liked it. Something that a lot of videos mention when they talk about the Alma bag is this bottom part here, always getting little scratches and nicks from being like banged around because it's such a structured bag. I've had this for several months. I've worn it a ton. It really was like my most used bag and it still looks phenomenal. I mean, yeah, any bag you get is gonna get dings and scratches because it's your bag, you've been using it. It's making memories with you, it's going to brunches with you and going to Egypt with you. So it definitely is gonna have a little bit of wear on it, but it still looks phenomenal to me. This bag still really does look brand new and I can only just see a few blemishes and you would really have to like get up close. I thousand percent recommend this bag if you are thinking about the Alma but not sure. I say go for it. And my favorite is the black epi leather because you don't have to worry about patinaing of the strap or patina down here on the monogram one. Ooh, or you could also get the Demira Bean one. Next, we have my Fendi Mama Baguette. This is a pre-loved bag. I got this off Fashion File, and I waited, you guys, and I waited. I waited probably, probably for like a year, just stalking the website, looking for one in excellent, excellent condition. Most of them, when they get listed on their website, are in very good condition, but this one was listed in excellent, and when I got it, it really was excellent. It was almost perfect. I also waited to get the gold hardware. I didn't want silver. For some reason on this bag, I just love the way the gold looks. And as soon as I got this, I cut the tag off. You know, like on Fashion File, they have that tag where if you take the tag off, it's yours. That day, I cut it, I opened it, and I started putting all my stuff in here. I was like, I love this bag. It's awesome. Super, super simplistic. Not much to this bag. There isn't like, bells and whistles to it, not even a back pocket. Just very simple, opens to like one big inner pocket. It's stuffed right now. But the thing I love most about it is how lightweight it is. Like literally, it feels like nothing. And then the, the strap drop. I love that it just easily goes over your shoulder. You don't have to think about it. So comfortable. Because of like the way it's designed, like it's kind of like a triangle, it just fits, it just fits with your like arm just really easily. I don't know how to describe it. I do have the Fendi baguette in this gorgeous white color. And I love this bag too. This is a great bag to kind of hold like this or on like the crook of your arm. But this strop drop on this one is so short. It could like never go all the way over my uh, shoulder. I still love this, but the strap drop on this bag is just, it's literally perfect. And it's also adjustable. So you can adjust it, but I have it on the last, uh, the last strap because I want it. I think it fits perfect right there. I still love this one. Didn't make my list this year, but I still love it. It's a harder bag to wear because it's white. But next we have my Chanel Square Mini. This is in like a patent leather with gold, crinkly like gold underneath. This handbag has been a hero bag ever since I got it. I think this bag for me just has so much positive energy. <laughs> I don't know if a bag can be like categorized as like a positive energy bag, but I think the, me the memories associated with this bag, my husband bought it for me when we were in Dublin 
and we had, it was just such a fun trip. We, we got into a lot of mischief on that trip and we just had such a good time that this bag just really reminds me of of that trip and, and I just love it. Also, this bag is just great to wear like on the shoulder. I even can wear it crossbody. It rides a little high, but I still really like it crossbody if I need to. I feel like it could be a very casual day-to-day -day bag or it could be a really nice, fancier type bag for the evening. And this bag for me is perfect for spring and summer, like literally perfect. White t-shirt, jeans, sandals, a gold Chanel bag, and I'm like good to go. I was perfect summer outfit. Of course this one was gonna make the list. My Speedy Nano. Literally one of the cutest bags that I purchased in 2019. I'm so fortunate. If you guys want this bag, you can get it on the pre-love market. You are going to pay a premium price because this is so hard to get in the boutiques. If you wanna buy it from the boutique, you're gonna to have to make friends with one of the sales associates at the boutique and literally text them all the time. Is it in? Did you guys get the bag? How about today? Most of the Louis Vuitton stores get shipments every day. So at like seven o'clock, they got their shipment. So whenever that store opens, I'd be texting. Did you get it? Just keep on them. Just keep on them. You can get one. If not, you just gotta turn to the pre-love market. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but this bag was just so surprising how much I loved it. One, it weighs nothing. It is so lightweight. Literally, I feel like these two almost weigh the same. Okay, this one weighs a little bit more because of the strap. I can't tell you how many compliments I got on this little bag and how many stares. I mean, I'm sure some people thought it was just like absolutely ridiculous, but a lot of people actually really liked it. The only con that I could think of this bag is that the strap is not removable. I would have loved for this strap to be removable so that I could just wear it as a little tiny handheld because it's just adorable. If I had this bag more than like five years or something, I am debating taking this strap off and replacing it with a attachable type strap. I don't know, would you guys do that? Would you cut this off? I'm just so in love with it. Every time I use it, it just makes me happy. This is another positive energy bag. So those were my four most used bags of 2019. Now I'm gonna show you my two favorite purchases of 2019. This is the Chanel Jumbo. It is a single flap and the style here is patchwork. So it isn't like one leather, it's not like caviar, or lambskin, or calfskin. It is patchwork. So it's got a ton of different types of leather, like uh, patent leather, this looks like caviar. We've got tweed down here, here's some satin. This bag reminds me of Nightmare Before Christmas of Sally. You know how she was like all like sewn up? I think this bag is really edgy, super edgy. It's very simple inside. It's not leather inside, it's just fabric and it only has like one big pocket here in front. So it's really lightweight compared to the regular Chanel Jumbo, which is a lot heavier. Let me bring the regular Jumbo out for you. So when I hold these two up, the regular Jumbo, it's like, wait, it's an anchor. It's weighing me down. This one is so much lighter. And look at the difference. Like, this is so classic. This regular Jumbo is so classic. It's, it's gorgeous. This is such a gorgeous bag. But what I love about this one is it's just, it's so rocker chic. I love the style of this one and Okay, wait, let me put this jumbo down. My arm. If you can find a patchwork on the pre-loved market, you can get these at a really good price. So if you've been wanting like a jumbo, but you've been hesitant because the regular jumbos are so heavy, I would really recommend a patchwork bag. I literally got this for less than half of the original price. I, I was like, oh my gosh, I won the lottery. Like this was, so this was priced so well. I think everybody wants the classic like medium or the classic jumbo and sometimes they forget about these really cool other type bags that I still think this is totally a classic and I think this is so different if I wear a lot of black so if I can like get some texture and some shininess to my black and some differentness I love it I'm, I'm all in I'm all in and the hardware on this is not quite silver it's like a dark ruthenium Ruthenium hardware type. I always have trouble saying ruthenium. I don't know why. Like, 
makes my tongue like phenomenal. Super casual, super mellow. I wouldn't wear this on like a night out. I would wear this out running errands because it's not, it doesn't hurt my arm. It doesn't hurt my shoulder because it's so lightweight. I have to like stand up and move back so the whole bag can get in the picture. <laughs> this was probably my absolute most favorite purchase of 2019. This is a Chanel XXL travel classic flat. The name is funky. There's like a lot of different names, but it's basically an XXL uh, flat bag. This is in calfskin leather. It is black and it has the gold hardware. And on the back here, the best feature is, is this already open? Yeah. The best feature is that this back pocket goes on top of your luggage. I made a whole video about this bag if you are interested, but this goes on top of your luggage but you, there's also a zipper down here so you can zip it shut and then this becomes a pocket if you don't, if you just want to wear it like as a tote bag and not as luggage. There is one, there is like one divider in here but it's mainly just like a big kind of open tote bag. There is a zipper here. There's a zipper here in front so you can put like important documents. Like right now I have my passport holder in here. Oh and I have my vacay all day eye mask. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what is the name of that? Sleep mask, sleep mask. So this bag, you guys, it's just, if you don't have, if you don't have the tissue paper in there, it's really squishy. It's, it's like kind of like a fluffy pillow. I can't say it's my most used bag because I've only traveled with it a few times, but every time I've traveled with it, I just, I love it. I, I love that it's like so super sized. Look at these two bags compared to each other. This is like a mini and this is a giant. If you guys are thinking about this bag and have any questions, let me know because I've used it a ton now. So if you're thinking about buying it, they're expensive. So ask me all the questions you want. I had a good time in 2019. I feel like I got some really, really good deals and pre-loved, you guys pre-loved. I would say half of my collection is brand new from the boutique and half of it really is pre-loved. I love that pre-loved websites in 2018 and 19 like went public, partnered with Neiman Marcus. I mean, pre-loved is huge. It's just getting bigger. You can buy a bag that has a little bit of history or maybe you weren't able to get it when it launched and then several years later, there you go. I feel like I bought some bags this year that I wanted so bad in college and I was like, there's no way I could never afford that. And now I'm, I'm getting all those college bags that I wanted. I'm taking it back. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. 